Hello, uh, this is John Jaw One. Here I am in LAX, the LAX airport. I'm going to Malaysia, also going to Singapore, uh, going to be enjoying getting together with my brothers and sisters in CRM interchange, uh, learning from each other and all that. But here, I want to reflect on the one-year Bible reading for today, which is Romans chapter 2, the first half of that. Uh, so we're looking at Romans chapter 2, 1 through 24. I think that the key to this passage, though, and I want to actually read it, is in, cha in verse uh, 2 through 4. And we know that God in his justice will punish anyone who does such things. Do you think um, that God will judge and condemn others for doing them and not judge you when you do them too? Don't you realize how kind, tolerant, and patient God is with you? Or don't you care? Can't you see how kind he is, he has been, in giving you time to turn from your sins. Hey, I've got time, you've got time. We all probably have some time to turn from our sins. But there will be a time where we don't have time. And we'll either turn from our sins or we will face the consequences. That's reality. That's reality. You see, in Romans 1, you have this description of this high standard of call to worship, to be worshipers of God, to live a life out of gratitude. And then you have a description of, of people um, losing their way. And God's judgment in Romans 1 is described as simply God letting people go. Letting them do whatever they want. Not, not fighting them. Giving them the freedom that he created them to have. The consequences is what people end up doing with that freedom. The freedom, if you look at it, doesn't end up in a growing and maturing quality of love. But as people get further and further away from God, uh, their lives get more distraught, distracted, destructive, and damaging to themselves and others. Now, then comes the big kahuna. We like to point the finger. Look at those people. They're bad people. And we don't see, oh, wow, God's patient with all of us. Because look, you know, here's a picture of what it means to so just trip into the holy presence of God. You're the Apostle John. You've been worshiping God. You've been following Jesus. You're, you're a holy man. You know the scriptures. You were one of the closest disciples with Jesus. And you're brought in the book of Revelations, we'll see this later, but brought directly into the presence of the living God. Whether in the body or not, John wasn't sure. But his experience of that is in right in front of him, that he fell down like a dead man. There's something about the holiness of God and anything being out of line with the will of God that just will circuit, short circuit us. You see, nothing can stand in God's presence except what is in line with the purposes of God. God is God. He sustains reality. There is no such thing as a reality that will be sustained outside of his purposes and presence. Now, what, what really is being driven hard 
is both this tendency towards criticism and judgment of quote unquote sinners. God's being patient with everyone. He's being patient with me. He's been patient with you. And we get an opportunity to learn, to love, and grow, and to turn around, to repent, to turn around from the direction we're going, and to turn to God. And there will be a day where each of us will run out of time. We won't have this opportunity to turn around and repent. Our life will end, and we'll stand before God and give account for our life. And our life will either be filled with meaning, because we will have lived into God's purposes for, for why he made us in the first place, or we will have lived a disconnected life, a disgruntled life, a disunified life, a dismembered life. We will, we will not have been part of the body of Christ, but rather disconnected from life itself, and disconnected from the life of God, let alone disconnected from the reason why God made us. See, God has not made any of us as an accident. He made each of us full for a purpose and a reason. And we either get to unfold that reason or not. Now, here's the deal. Whether you know the scriptures or not, coming up and criticizing people and their behavior doesn't necessarily help you or help them. In fact, knowing the law really well, knowing the law itself won't help you. See, knowing what the law is doesn't necessarily help you love people. God actually loves us as we are, but doesn't love the consequences of our actions. I thought a long time ago, I was trying to wrestle with what was a good image to help us understand the character and nature of sin. And one of the images I really felt like God helped me get was to look at my trash can. And I put that stuff there. And later on that week, I knew that I was going to take that stuff that I put in my little trash can and put it in the dumpster. I knew where it was going to go. It was going to go into this horrible thing called a landfill. And I willingly do this. Week after week after week, I add garbage to the landfill. And I know, I mean, Scripture's clear. And God will, in the book of Revelations it says, and God will destroy those who destroy the earth. I mean, why am I putting this stuff in a landfill? So, in the midst of all this, I, with all people, I share this condition with all people. We all have our trash, we all put it in, and we all it all gets taken to the landfill. We all have this common condition. And we desperately need God's help. Because without God's help, I don't see how we're getting out of it. That's the humble circumstances that we can come then with, to each other and understand that God's being patient with all of us. If somebody's not dead, there's still hope. Love you. Keep the faith. Continue to read the scriptures with us. Don't use the scriptures to condemn, but rather use the scriptures to illuminate. I'm not saying, talking about the role of conviction. Conviction is brought on by the Holy Spirit not by us condemning and I want to say one last thing I want to give a shout out to my man Tito 
keep it up in terms of persevering in your music. Uh, keep growing. I love what, what you're doing. Uh, learn how character will tie into how you succeed and what you do with that success. God bless you. Keep the faith.